welcome to another episode of Strategic Minds Making Money Moves, where we provide that strategy so we can get that green. I am so glad you joined us today. Today I have with me joining is Sir Toya Forsyth, and she is the CEO of IOM. And we're going to hear all about what IOM is about. I'm looking forward to this segment. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so glad to have you. Glad to be here. That's awesome. That's awesome. So why don't you tell the audience about your business? So IOM stands for I Am One Yet Many, the nonprofit organization where we are bridging the gap between cultural differences through shared human experiences while preserving the dignity of those in need. Awesome. Awesome. So what, do you, what kind of services do you offer? Great. So what does that mean? So IOM is bringing co uh, groups of people together that view themselves as different. So that's whether you're old or young, rich or poor, uh, black or white. Um, it doesn't matter. We're, we are all the same and want to be understood, loved and supported. So when you bring these groups together, what do you do with them? So you bring the groups together and we have different experiences. So whether that is a cultural dinner, whether that's taking a field trip or getting together at a community center, center to, um, uh, to paint or just through various experiences, we come together so we can create memorable experiences and memories. Awesome. Awesome. How long have you been in business? We've been in business almost five years. Fantastic. Fantastic. And we know with all that's going on in the world today and in the community, it's something we definitely need to do. How do we bridge the gap? And how do we make that, you know, make people feel a part of and not different? As you say, we're really, when you take all this off and everything, we all just the same. Absolutely. Right. And, Absolutely. In terms of we're moving forward. So what can we help you with today? So with the challenges of having a grassroots nonprofit, grassroots means that, you know, we're taking our hard earned money. That's myself. That's my team, um, my small team of, of dedicated individuals to grow the business. Um, that means we do the, the groundwork. We get out there and speak to our local community um, as well as we're online. We're making phone calls to uh, gain capital for our business, not only operations, but also to run the programs. And um, a lot of people don't know, but that takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of work. So with that, the challenges that I'm facing is getting um, individuals to trust a grassroots nonprofit um, because we are a small startup and we don't have the backing yet of a corporation or, um, you know, your major money move people. <laughs> OK, so, you know, one of the things we have to think about is, OK, you've been in business for five years, so you have serviced someone. Right. And out of those five years with the person with the people that you have serviced in terms of providing an opportunity um, and hearing the stories of what you provided for them and the success of what it was that you did that allowed them the opportunity to um, understand the differences, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the thing is, is that with a grassroots nonprofit, there's so many nonprofits out here and as people are trying to find money to donate and why they want to donate, it's really getting to the sweet spot of an individual where I care about that. What you're doing matters to me. Well, the service you're providing means something. Now, yes, it takes a lot of money to run a nonprofit. It takes money to run the programs. It takes money to, to operate a nonprofit as you're moving forward. But in order to do that, you really have to have a strategic plan. You've got to put a plan together that's going to address what corporations can I go to that are going to sponsor a event. They're going to sponsor... 15 people, they're going to sponsor two people, whatever it may be, but who can I go to where they care? Well, if you think about it, in the communities that we serve, you hear a lot of businesses say, we support our own community. This is an opportunity to put your money where your mouth is. You support your own community. I have to be able to tell the story to them 
and how what I provide is going to help the community, right? How is it going to help your employees? How is it going to help the community? What is this going to do for you? And start small with small donations that you're asking for from companies to come in. As you're building this at the same time, trust comes from how you make people feel. Trust comes from people being able to see what you offer. I don't know if you put your tax form, what is it, the 990, I guess mm -hmm. it is? Yes. I don't know if you publish your tax form. That's a way to get people to get trust. You're transparent. You're showing what you do. You're, you're, you're giving them access to where their money is going, et cetera. You know, now some nonprofits choose to do that, some don't. But when you do do those kinds of things and you're an open kimono, you're really like, I have nothing to hide. This is really what, you know, what we're doing for, for an organization. When we do, when we put out there how many people we serve, it's really about you brought the people together to understand the differences. That's only step one. What actions did they do differently afterwards to say they really learned it? Right. Yes. So how are we showing the success measures of actually doing it? It's great to put everybody through a training. It's great to provide people to say, you're no different than I am. I'm no different than you are. When we talk about um, uh, us as human beings and, and dealing with race, it's just my color happens to be a little darker than yours or a little lighter than yours, et cetera. But the question becomes, you, when you give this awareness, what changes? So what are you doing in your workshops and your experiences that allow you to be able to track what changed? Is it that we do a follow-up 30 days later? We do a follow-up once a quarter to find out how things are going. How have you applied this? How have you used it? Because it's those differences that are going to make a difference for other people to say, wait a minute, this changed them this much? And especially when you deal with companies, um, we're going to take a station break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about the importance of company culture and how this plays with company culture in the midst of where we are today. We'll take, take a station break. We'll be right back. When we think about strategy, think about moving forward, we're always wondering and concerned are we hitting the right target audience? Are we doing the right things to take our business forward? Don't lose sight of the fact that your talents and your passion brought you here. Those talents and passion can be contagious, contagious to those who want to hear it, who want to learn, and who want to know more. It's just important to do what? Tell our story. Tell the story that touches each and every person that you want to contribute and be a customer to your business. Address their issues, address their concerns, take care of them. It's all about making somebody what? Feel good. It's not what we do for them. It's not how we do it. It's how we make them feel. Welcome back. So we were talking about, you know, um, companies and their culture. The, the deal is, is that um, we know that culture is not something we can touch. Culture is how people feel. It's how things operate. It's how things are manifest within an organization. And the culture obviously starts the way it's defined at the top. How is leadership? How do they respond? How do they treat others? What does that look like? OK, mm -hmm. so when, when you're talking about culture, well, when you're talking about differences, we're dealing with racial differences today. We're dealing with lack of trust in our community today. Mm -hmm. um, when you even talk about the people in blue and, and, and the African-American community yes. and the Latina community. And, you know, we're talking about real issues that are impacting our world. This is an opportunity for you to, to actually close that gap, right? Actually yes. close the gap in what's happening. And your ability to be able to talk to a, um, a company and say, look, you said you cared about these things. This is how many of your employees live in this community. Yes. This is a direct impact 
to them. And here are the challenges that have been experienced right outside your door. You know, the, the, whether it is a, you know, a protest, whether it's a riot, whatever happens, it happened right outside your door. Don't you want to help make a difference? Doesn't that matter? Get them to sponsor one thing, just one event. But having those success metrics of what you're going to be able to show them afterwards is going to be critical to get them to bite, right? And when companies start to bite, individuals will then say, oh, well, if Delta can give to them or, um, you know, uh, Turner can give to them or all these major corporations can give to them, why shouldn't I support their efforts and what they're doing? Um, The other thing is partnering with organizations where heartstrings have been hurt. I think about Moms Against Drunk Driving. I think about, you know, I think about organizations that were formed to help out of pain. Well, how can you make that pain go away? What can you do to fill that gap to make that pain go away? As you're offering these programs of services, what you need to do is to tell that story. Because that story is going to be what's in it for the individual to say, I want to give some more money. I want to support this event. I believe in in this organization um, as you're going from a grassroots. So um, the other thing is getting getting the, the word out there about your brand. Let people know who you are. Do you have a marketing strategy? Yes, we have a marketing strategy. We also have a website, and that's www.com. I-A-O-Y-M dot org, or I am one yet many for short. Okay. And so they can go to this website, but people got to know the website exists, right? Yes. And so you're using a marketing strategy to be able to do that, to get those words out there, to be able to let others know who you are, what's happening, and what you can service. Um, Trust is the hardest thing to do. It's the hardest thing to do. But I will tell you that even in a grassroots, I have been... I have seen many, 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 many grassroots organizations start by, I'm going to have an event that I'm known by once a year. Whether that's a gala, whether that's something. It might be a luncheon, might be a breakfast, but I'm going to have an event that's my fundraiser event that I'm going to be known for once a year. Let's just start with one. And let's build up to get the attendance in that environment once a year. Right. And let's have people who have benefited over the last five years of my services actually tell their testimonies when they're there. So now people are feeling it. Right. Mm -hmm. They see what those results need to look like. So you can begin to grow financially, but at the same time growing from trust. And you do it one year. Now, one year you might target 20 people. Next year you target 50 people. Next year you target 100 people. But the, the point is, is you want people to know what is that signature event? What is that signature program? What is it that you are known for that I go to? So if I want to go to somebody and if one of your signatures events is around, um, I'll just say taking the men and women in blue and putting community together because that just happens to be an issue we have. Yes. You know, maybe that's an event you do and you have, have one of them. And then next quarter, you know, maybe it's something that you do twice a year or something, but you're known for that. When people get ready to say, oh, my gosh, if this police force has a problem with their community, you want to contact them. You want to contact IOM because if they they can help you to solve this issue. You can't be known as an expert. You can't be known as um, being able to be helpful. If people, A, don't know about you, B, once they find out about you, they're not hearing enough about that success. So your ability and what you want to be known for in turn, your ability to be able to to pick something that's going to be that flagship. It's like, what's that niche? Pick something that's going to be the thing that you're going to hit your hook on so that it's, yeah, we offer 15 programs. This is overall what we do, but we offer 15 programs. But Mm -hmm. where am I hitting you in that niche? The other thing is don't forget about our government. So as a minority supplier and getting with our government and as the government is struggling, local government, state government, everybody's struggling with all of the different kinds of issues, you know, dealing with, you know, the less fortunate and 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 the the underserved and, and all of that. 
everybody's trying to figure out how do I close this gap? So if I were to ask you, what can you do to help close that gap? What is it that you can offer? We're offering where we are serving the we're serving the underserved youth within the community. So we're partnering currently with the YMCA Metro Atlanta Association to bring the world of travel to youth that, regardless of the pandemic, would not be able to know about other parts of the world outside of their neighborhood. That's a great example. So let's take that one. Okay. You're now going to, you're providing something through a partner, through um, the YMCA that's allowing you to get out there. So now mm -hmm. you have this major brand, mm -hmm. right? And we have this partnership. Getting the word out to those that don't know you, allowing you to leverage that brand of that partnership to tell that story, to be able to get others to know about you so that they can trust you. We're going to take a station break, and when we come right back, we'll follow up on that. We'll be right back. When we think about strategy, think about moving forward, we're always wondering and concerned, are we hitting the right target audience? Are we doing the right things to take our business forward? Don't lose sight of the fact that your talents and your passion brought you here. Those talents and passion can be contagious, contagious to those who want to hear it, who want to learn, and who want to know more. It's just important to do what? Tell our story. Tell the story that touches each and every person that you want to contribute and be a customer to your business. Address their issues. Address their concerns. Take care of them. It's all about making somebody what? Feel good. It's not what we do for them. It's not how we do it. It's how we make them feel. So welcome back. Let's continue what we were talking about with the why. I think that is phenomenal. So in this program that you offer with the why, there's some results that you're getting, right? Yes. And, and making sure you don't miss the opportunities to get those testimonials, the videos, and, and all of that that you can utilize. And surveys. That's yes. right. Right. But you get the surveys for data and information. Right? right. And and how you can leverage that. And then you get the videos to really show off what's actually happening and the experience. Yes. What will I experience? Oh, these are the kinds of things that we're doing and, and the experiences that they're having. And then if I trust and I'm a member of the why, now you have opened up a door that allows me the opportunity to say, wow, the why is doing this. I don't know about that organization. I'd like to learn more. I want to know more. So it's those kinds of things that you're doing and keep doing it. Don't stop. And trust is over time. It doesn't happen immediately. But being known for an event that you're going to have that people know they can fundraise at all the time, having partnerships like the Y so the Y can talk about you and talk about the things you're doing building relationships with the companies that truly have the challenge and the issue and need it, and then you sell it in solving their business problem in terms of moving forward. Um, your ability to advertise um, your social media or, or tell your story in social media where you're doing the engagement of the audience and how they feel and what this means, um, how you're touching them. Aren't you tired of X, Y, Z that's going on in your community? And you're a mother and you want to help your son. Here's how what we can do. Here are programs that we can offer. These are things that because you get a mama with their kids, what happens? Well, where do I sign up, right? <laughs> I'm ready to, and my child needs some help. What do I do, right? So there, there are all different kinds of things that you can do, but trust is over time. Trust comes from transparency. Trust comes from value-added results that people feel. They have to feel it. They have to know, you know, that they're going to get something that makes them feel. And that's the challenge with giving money. Um, every nonprofit, you have to believe in what that nonprofit is doing. You have to feel it. 
You have to stand for it. It has to mean something. So you'll go in your pocket and give. The other thing is utilize your volunteer network. All of your volunteers, even your staff, your team members, all of your volunteers and your team members can tell a story. They can talk about how this organization makes them feel. They can talk about, oh my God, I love working here. Let me tell you why. You want that out there. You want, what you're doing is sharing the experience. Because you're not selling a product per se, you're mm -hmm. selling experiences. People need to feel those experiences. So utilize your volunteers, utilize your team members so that you're going out there to get that story told. Okay. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Awesome, awesome. Well, let's see if we have a question, comment, or tip from our audience. Hi, my name is Kim Kennedy, and I am the owner of Yours Truly Events, a wedding coordination company. Uh, we're formerly known as Day Of uh, for weddings. We focus on brides who are planning their own wedding but need someone to execute it. My question today for you is, what are your top uh, two programs that you have, and how do you leverage that within your community? So the top two programs that we have is our Backpack Passport campaign where we are partnering with the YMCA Metro Atlanta Association and we have our cultural dinner which is going to be our annual event that we want to make fun and engaging so we can educate the public in a warm way. Um, so those are where, with the Backpack Passport campaign, we're bringing the world of travel to the youth, and we're doing that through our community. Um, regarding the cultural dinner, we're having that so everybody loves to eat. So you can have um, great conversation, those difficult uh, topics like uh you know, our racial divide, um, uh, people, classism, whatever you're feeling that you may, school bullying, where you may have been wronged or where you still harbor like some negative feelings. We want to have those difficult conversations over um, a, a good good dinner because I think it just helps to put everybody at ease. It's a safe environment and th great things happen from that. That's awesome. See, yeah. you're already doing a signature event. You've got this dinner that you're doing. Nobody knows, though. Yes. I would love to know about it. I would love to know, when are your dinners? When are they happening? How do I find out? That's the beauty of that. So I know that every year there's going to be this dinner and this is what we want to go to, you know, in terms of being able to support the organization so you can have a fundraising opportunity, yes. right? Um, and last but not least, you want to make sure you never leave any fundraising opportunity off the table, right? Absolutely. All right? All right? <laughs> and you never leave an opportunity where you're not telling the results of the story so somebody can say, mm, I felt that. Uh, I need that. Oh, can you help me with this? you know, in terms of moving forward so that you can continue to show the value that you're doing. You are making a significant impact in Thank this you. world, Thank a you. significant impact. And people need to know, people need to understand what impact you're making and how people are, how you're trying to make this a better world to live in. But more importantly, you're educating. Absolutely. You're educating people, right? You're yes. allowing them to have an experience and become educated at the same time and to understand why they may feel the way they do, how to make it different and what that looks like. It's just one, I don't want you to underestimate, you know, the power of what you're doing. And being in a nonprofit can be frustrating when nobody's paying you. When you're like, oh my God, you know, we're not getting donors, we're not getting people. We got so much to offer. And it just means our words have to be out there more. You know, we got to get into, we got to sponsor some things. You know, maybe you barter with someone and you become a sponsor in a program magazine that they have. Or, you know, there's all kinds of creative things we have to think about as to how to do that. But you have a gym here. And I just want to encourage you don't stop. This is only the beginning. And all of the successes you had can multiply. You can and will do this. We'll be talking to each other in another couple of years and you're going to talk about how this thing has just taken off and gone in all kinds of directions. So let's just get that word out there so we can build that trust. All right. All righty then. Can you all join me in thanking my guests today? 
You know, it's always so hard when you are following a passion and you begin a nonprofit as there's so many nonprofits out here to support. There's so many needs and all of them are valuable. And where do I put my money? Why do I put my money there? I hope that each one of you take an opportunity to really understand the impacts to nonprofits so that you can make a difference in their lives and that you can help them to continue to do the journeys that they're set here to do to make this world a better, a better place. Thank you so much for joining us on Strategic Minds Making Money Moves, where we do those things so we can bring in that green. See you soon.